Today, guys, I want to discuss with you um, different ways that you can access your Facebook Messenger. So um, if you're using your Facebook Messenger, you actually know the Facebook Messenger is used for sending messages, chatting with your friends, starting a conversation on Facebook. And guys, today I want to show you guys different way in which you can do that. So first of all, you can notice this icon right here that says Messenger. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open you to the Facebook Messenger. This is actually the first way to do it. So it's going to load up and then open your Facebook Messenger for you. Wait for it. it might be slow depending on the network. I'm loading a different um, browser right here. So this is our Facebook Messenger and you can see how it is placed for us. That's pretty fine, right? Then come over here click on your messenger icon and then click on all messages in order to bring up the Facebook messenger which we want to now you can notice it's been loaded and then another way to do that also is to memorize the URL which is also very important and I have memorized mine you can just type the FB is revision of Facebook fb.com slash messenger Sorry, message slash p slash. You can notice how this one is still the same thing. Uh, I missed s. It should still be the same thing. So everything isn't uh, bad, but the real thing is actually getting it right. Getting right what you are searching for. So just memorize the URL. I always do that. And if you guys, um, I think, there is a cup lock here. It's the same messages, instead of messages. I really don't know why it's giving this, but I'm always just typing it this way. And I've never gotten an error until today. Okay, for some reason this is not working, so let's just ignore that. And then another way you guys can access this is go ahead and type in message messenger.com. So messenger.com is actually the latest one which um, brings you into Facebook Messenger. So uh, I think I did a lot of typographical error that uh, is bringing in different things. So now or right from your messenger area you can notice is um, actually got our logged in details previously from our Facebook page so all you need to do is to click on continue to continue with this so wait for it now this is actually still the same thing because if you want to get um, if you want to get the Android app, you can go ahead and get that. If you also want to get the iOS app, you can still get that from this side. But the thing is, um, using this actually brings you into the Messenger, and it's still the same thing. So if you notice, it says messenger.com, and then um, forward slash T, and then another forward slash, the name of the person I recently chat with. So if you notice, guys, um, this actually brought us here and this still brought us here and this still brought us here so all in all 
any one you want to use you can just go ahead and make use of that but guys i will employ you guys to take advantage of this particular one which i think um looks a bit more different because if you notice the ui is a bit different this one has the facebook um menu top menu bar right here with the logo and everything but this one didn't have any of such and if you notice it's still the same settings you can see archive messenger hidden on red about blah 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 all these are actually displaying just like it does on your on your mobile device on your phone so if you still click on this you can still see it has fewer settings it has i think what is missing here is um i think two other links are missing let's see I think um, active messenger request hidden on red help report new um, messenger for Windows so um, I can't really get it easy really okay I think is about help report a problem help report a problem and then is missing about it actually missing the about and then it's missing the terms of use policy and privacy so nothing much actually so it really makes it looks good and then another one another way you can also access messenger is actually making use of the facebook messenger for windows this will actually allow you to install the application it does if you are the kind of person that like to use application and and um softwares on your devices but i don't think this is going to be ideal for you guys but if you install this it's going to be installed on your desktop and you can easily um you can easily use it to chat it has more features to it but i will really um ask you guys instead of installing it just make use of this one in order to save space on your devices but if you feel like you needed more or oh, you want it to be more faster i think you can just go for the software but i really agree with any anybody that is making use of the facebook messenger on the browser because it still works well and still does very much the same thing so um this is all i want to show you guys today very quick and actually um easy to do but i just want to make you guys know how to use this and make you guys know all the options that are available to access facebook messenger so so far i showed you guys how to make use of four different ways to access facebook messenger right from either your home page or typing the url or using the application whichever one you prefer to use you can just go ahead and make use of that and if you guys are watching this video and haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe right now like the video and share it with your friends and i'll be seeing you guys on my next video stay home and stay safe Peace.